What's going on guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going to be talking about NEO like we always do. We're going to talk about the overall market first. Just an amazing day the market had. Now before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you, like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully you did enjoy your weekend, but let's get right into this video. So guys, if you were watching the market today, or let's start with the indexes like we always do. So if you were watching the indexes today, you were... You know happy you were surprised you were happy i was surprised okay so let's recap on friday what happened basically we pulled back to right here we consolidated you know we opened up sunday consolidated stayed above this but we got a nice little pullback after the huge impulsive move up on thursday so we had a pretty big move on thursday friday was the usual sell-off um you know take profit low volume whatever you know how fridays are normally just not too exciting then futures opened up Sunday. You know, we were pushing up through the night, got got a little good uh, pop at, you know, towards the morning into going into Monday. And that's when we just really laid into things, guys. Right at it open, you know, we were up like 150 points, you know, just staying along that. Then we just slowly kept increasing the entire day. You know, some days we're up a lot and then it just sells off for the rest of the day. This was not like one of those days we just basically continued this uptrend throughout the whole entire day yes we saw a little bit of sell-off at the end of the day that's usual but for the majority of today it was a very easy going day i mean i'll even go down to the 15 minute time frame for you guys to see you know we opened up and then we just pushed up pushed up you know pull back we consolidated a little bit for you know an hour two hours whatever this time frame was and then we pushed up again we rallied going into power hour and then we really just sold off you know, you know for the rest of the power hour um so overall today was amazing really like the price action on today and i do think maybe tomorrow if tomorrow is red i do think maybe we see like a little bit of a pullback down to this area right here same like how we did here so we had the move up pull back right same here we had to move up pull back um even if we pull back down to here i'd be very okay with that so that's my overall thought process going into tomorrow i do think if um we are going to have a red day i think it is going to be tomorrow and that could be seen as your dip buy um but overall i think we're very strong trying to recover and trying to hit those all-time highs once again which is very possible um right before we talk about neo we're going to talk about tesla because as I've mentioned before, you know, normally when Tesla has a good day, Neo has a good day as well. Um, and Tesla had a 4.4% day, up 25, almost $26. At one time, it was really pushing. But then it got the end of the day sell-off as usual. So Tesla had an amazing day. Um, this is definitely what you want to see if you're into Neo. Um, you know, Tesla's one of those EVs that are leading the market, and all the other ones typically follow suit. So Neo, same thing today amazing day it was up actually more than tesla percentage wise it was up over five percent but what did we talk about in my last new video i talked about this previous level of support that i wanted us to get above and i said hey we need to watch this level when we push back up to it and i have these circled for a reason is because we pretty much were able to stay above it you know we, we did dip below it but we didn't like we did over here, we didn't prolong. We didn't stay very long underneath it, a day at the very latest. Over here, we stayed a week or two. So today was the first day since back when we had this drop that we actually got back above this support. So this is very crucial for us, guys. I've been mentioning this level. You know, if Neo's going to recover, it's first got to get above this hump and hold it. And today, we saw that end of the day pullback. But guess what? We held it so just in case you can't see the number on your screen i know it is small but it is 3564 so that is the level that we were able to hold today and stay above so this is very good for neo guys i'm very excited to see neo doing this now tomorrow if tomorrow is red and that doesn't mean neo has to be red the market can still pull back and neo can obviously be out we've seen that many times before tomorrow what i'm looking at for neo is just a day where it pulls over where it consolidates where it bases out we saw this over here last or two weeks ago i can't remember it might have been last week we pushed up based out for an entire day and then the following day we pushed up so i kind of want to see that tomorrow i want to at least see us base out or we can even just push up tomorrow one of those two things i really don't want to see us breaking that support level so tomorrow base out that's okay. That's a win in my books. That's a W. That's a green day for me, even if it's you know three or four cent, which it could very be if 
um, we just base out tomorrow. It might not be a very exciting day, but that's okay, guys. Or two, the second scenario, which is what everyone hopes for, is that we just straight push up again. So those are the two scenarios I'm looking for specifically tomorrow, guys. I do think tomorrow, at least on the overall market, will be red. I could be wrong, but I'm leaning towards that. I mean, I'm not going to fight it if it is green. I'd love that still, but I do think we're going to cool off just a little bit. Um, so with Neo, hopefully we just pull over instead or even push up. So that's what I'm going to be watching tomorrow, guys. Hopefully you were green today. Very exciting to see Neo's finally getting back above that crucial support that I've been speaking, you know, since we broke below it. We need to get back above it, and we finally got back above it today for the first time in two weeks, it seems like. Other than that, guys, hopefully you did enjoy your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.